Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is still Friday, October 25th, 2019. I am the drunk poker with beer time. It is two months till Christmas. How's about that? Did you know the LCPO's already got their Christmas stuff out? <sighs> Guys, listen, I'm going to tell you this about that. November 12th, I'm all in on Christmas. Until then, keep your Christmas bottled up. Uh, anyways, little pre-beer rant. Today, dropping today at Nickelbrook Brewing in uh, Burlington, five minutes from my work, 600 bottles only, uncertainty principle number five. This one is pretty interesting. I had a little sample of the brewery and it kind of piqued, piqued my interest. So it's a barrel-aged golden sour matured on elderberries and plums. Elderberries, you say? <laughs> your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. Um, yeah. So, you know, the, the fun thing, these beers have been really good. Uh, this year, Nickelbrook has, I don't know, they've broken, broken out of just the sour mold, you know, and returned with some great IPAs, some cool barrel aged stuff. Again, sour, but not so. Let me get into it. Uh, we'll talk about that. I bought two because I oh, my new, my new glass. Thank you. My brand new, my new glass, my glory and gold Nickelbrook glass since my other tulip has been retired. I love the color of this. So, Tannic Berry Oak Mysterious. Now, I was intrigued by my, my sample because when you smell it, you get like a wine, like a red wine characteristic, a very tannin, that wine tannin. Some oak. I'm definitely getting that plummy note, but uh, let's get it to cheers, my friends, to, to New Beer Friday. It's, it's, it's a good day. It's, it's a very good day. So it's funny because we were talking about it and I said, it's 6.6% 6 .6%, by the way too. So it's not a little beer. It's not like a beer. Um, it has this red wine, uh, wine tannin oakiness to it that belies the sourness. So it is sour to a degree, but it's more very oaky wine. The elderberries, I think, cut, cut it maybe. The plumminess is in there too. It's very fruity, but very easy going for 6.6. Six. I must say, I have been a fan of the Uncertainty Principle series. I hope they continue it as the new year goes on. But, um, I mean, 10, 10 different uh, Funk Lab releases this year. And again, the Funk Lab and Nickelbrook are the same place, but the Funk Lab exists inside of you know, the, the minds of the brewers to do some weird stuff. This is weird, but fun. Again, only 600 bottles, so it, it won't move as fast as, say, you know, a big IPA or a bourbon barrel age this or that, but I think if you really want to explore a, a beer that's kind of... We were talking about fun beers, and I say that about a lot of the stuff Nickelbrook put out this year. This one does have some subtle nuances to it, which I'm finding make it an intriguing beer to drink and make it a fun beer to drink because, you know, you can kind of pause and go, oh, what was that? Like, is that oakiness and that berry and that, the grape? It's, it's it's fun. It's fun. Very interesting. So look for it. Uh, stop by Nickelbrook. Check out the new tap room. I mean, newish tap room. It's not that new anymore, but if you haven't been in a while, it's new to you. Uh, pick up some of this. Grab some Headstock IPA. Why don't you? My personal right now go-to comfort beers headstock ipa i i stop in and buy four all the time if i bought more that would be bad for me i buy four and then when they're out i stop in again so i stop in three three times a week <laughs> it's like a second home now anyways my friends good night hope you have a great friday i will see you tomorrow saturday 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 hockey night in canada beer night in the crease cheers The only thing I'm uncertain of at this point is whether I'm going to drink my second bottle. I'm going to drink it.